All right, let's get started. I gotta load up. Oh no, my door is open. I'm gonna go shut that. I'll be right back. You guys don't need to look at my clothes. Where's my strewn? There it is. I mean, we have very nice clothes, so like, I don't care, but uh, <laughs> I just, I like the evenness of the background. I prefer that one. All right, let me exit out of here, I have my music, and let me remember what we were doing. First, let me just get my visual board to open up. Oh boy. I thought that an hour would be plenty of time for my doctor's appointment, and it totally wasn't. We got Minas here, Stones, Yum, hello, welcome. Uh, open GBA. <laughs> My dog is a lab. I'm done. <laughs> hey, Emily. Stream GBA. Oh, there it goes. I was like, why are you not showing up? This is, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Ugh. Did I plug this in? Oh, yeah, I did. Be good. Oh, I didn't plug that in. Oh, well. I'll just have to deal with it. All right. I'm trying to remember like what we were doing last time. And let me just get my phone away from the microphone. <laughs> Our cold randomizer, because why not? How is it? I've never played any other randomizer but this one. Um, okay, so. That's where we are. I found, now I remember. Let's see, who's in our party? I feel like I should head back real quick to the uh, Oh, come on. Ah, I don't care about you, Rose. Whatever, okay. So I'm just remembering what my controls are here. Oh, woo. Okay. So I, I, I was gonna do maybe a recap on what all we have going on here. Let me just move my dashboard over to one side so I can take a look at it, make sure I'm still streaming, you know, the usual. Yeah, I hustled on back here. My doctor's appointment is like I could walk to it. Which is nice. It's really nice being able to walk to your doctor's appointment, honestly. You're already stressed out enough, you know? <laughs> oh, there you go. I swear I'm better than this. All right, uh, Pokemon. Now, what do we have? Summary. So, we have the always reliable Josh Jepson. Um, it's Ghost and Grass. We have our, we have our trusty, trusty Jalapeno, who is fire. Wonderful. And just as a recap, as a reminder, um, if you've never played a randomizer before, uh, type exclamation point Pokemon. You can find more information about the randomizer that I'm playing. I, if you're new here, I'm not playing the typical one. I know there's like a universal one. I'm playing one that is Emerald specific. Um, and so it of course randomizes their type as well as you can clearly see. Um, I also turned on a feature that I think, I think how it works is like every Pokemon has like 20% chance of learning a move. So they all learn weird moves, as you can see here. Wonder Guard, ugh. So explain to me Wonder Guard. Everybody always complains about it, but I don't really remember it very well, and you guys are the masters. Uh, poor Danengorf, he is, I mean, he's got good stats, he's a good Pokemon, but he's just a really, really useful uh, HM whore, so. Hey, Swing. We have also Slush Pup, who is another crowd favorite. He's Water and Rock. Uh, she's water and rock, and uh, absorbs and changes water into HP, which is nice. Uh, Dragon and ground avoids sound based moves. This is Quilava named Summer. Oh, I know what I forgot to open up was the the nickname list. So if you do exclamation point nickname, I need some new I need some more nicknames for the record. Hit by super effective. Oh yeah, now I remember. I'm so glad I have all you masters in here to help me out. Cause like, again, as I said before, I played a lot, uh, but I never played competitively. So uh, other people know more than me often. <laughs> Where is this? Oh, did I put it on my other other account here? Yeah, Slush Pup is best pup, right? Uh, let me pull up the link here. That'll probably be faster. Oh, thank you, Icewing. 
<laughs> Edit. It's okay. <laughs> uh, responses. Where did it go? So it isn't the coolest. Okay. Why can't I find it? Entitled form. I'm looking for how about Google Sheets? What have you guys been up to over Christmas break? Clearly, I'm just going terrible, doing terrible things here. All right, now we're back. So make sure you submit some more names. I was hoping it was going to be a really quick doctor's appointment, but you know they're full of lies. <laughs> and a random name came up just called F minus, and I like that idea for a Pokemon's name, honestly. All right. Now, is that, is that the last one on my list? That is okay. Uh, let's do a little recap here of uh, Lynette's PC. We're going to take a look at. We're going to move. We're going to quote move Pokemon. Um, just take a look at some ones that we caught last time. This is probably a good way to start with this guy here. Uh, so we caught the thing. Who's a steel steel type? It's pretty cool. Water pulse trick. Tail whip. Hey, Aki. Space butt. Submit it. It's a good one. I, I like Precious, the Rayquaza, a lot. I, I think that's a good one. <laughs> Rage and Sky Attack. He's just so precious. Uh, we have Dogma. It's pretty cool. Um, I do have a Pokedex, as a reminder. I can only update it after the stream, though, just because it's a little hard to do it all at the same time. But I can easily take a screenshot um, like that. So, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Burby. <laughs> Ghost and normal, bug and steel, which is interesting. Oh okay, yeah, chili, and then cube the venonat. Hey, demon, a dark and water type. Shoe the swablu is pretty cute, <laughs> and I also like glam rock the whiskash, the flying pineco. Uh, you know they fly all the time, don't you know? Don't you guys know that? Uh, Spreckles the chinchu. Porkachu. Oh yeah, I painted this the other day. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Floofy. We caught. We, we we recently got Floofy. Uh, Floofy was given to us at the uh, at the weather place. All right. Well, let's move on here for a little while. Oh, that's right, I can't run on here. Hey, Jiggly! Cause that, so currently, I can't go down here yet, because I don't have this, the scope thing. Seem to squirm. Excuse me, don't make fun of how I smell. So we're at 120. Let's get, let's get battling, huh? Why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you can win against me. Well, I will, so. I probably shouldn't be too cocky because there's been some real challenges. <laughs> bro, bro, is it Broly Dolly or Brawly Dolly? I can't figure that one out. I do, I love that Chansey. I think that Chansey's adorable. Um, Yeah, I, ha I haven't played since before Christmas. I was having a hard time remembering what's going on. Hey, Busty. How are you going? Or is it the best? There we go, Josh Jepson. Let's see, what, what are levels are at everybody at? Ooh, Cookie is pretty low. Uh, Dan and Grove are just kind of ignoring. Let's send Cookie out. Because we said that Cookie had some decent stats. So I think once Cookie evolves, we'll be a lot happier. The about the same gold deck. Sky attack! Sorry, just why not? No parlor boo francais. <laughs> I failed French. <laughs> well, I didn't fail. I withdraw. I withdrew before I failed. Rock type shaman with psychic. What? That's great. 
Can't remember. Is this poison? Or ghost? Just fed up. Oh, I'm paralyzed and I can't move. This is the worst. Oh, yes, yeah, right. I have, I have a fast forward button. Always different. Yeah. Yeah, Kubli, yes, people actually say correctly, which is funny because my last name is Kubler, so that's where it comes from. And nobody can say Kubler correctly, but Kubliest must just make more sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. I remember that one. Uh, well, I don't know. Roughly remember where is the bathroom. I don't. I'm just kidding, though. I know nothing. Cool duck. I'm trying to fight you with a weak Pokemon. Why aren't you dying? Cubius. There you go. I am the Kubliest. Of all the Kublers, I'm the Kubliest. Oh, you son of a. I might just have to pull him out, because this is getting a little ridiculous. You still did? <laughs> I'm just trying to dominate him with my strongest move, because why not? Actually, do I have any... I don't think I do. Let me ask Alex. I have a bit of a headache. Alright, critical hit. Fight. Oh, man, we're so close. Um, hopefully this works. Yeah, Goldug is bad at dying, right? This is terrible. Oh, you so Okay, I'm switching out. This is terrible. I cannot continue this. So far, I have not been pleased with this Pokemon, uh, but I'm hoping when it evolves, I will be pleased with it. Summer. Oh, laundry. I need to do that. I'm putting that off. It's really hard because, like, when you, when, when, like, when we're at home for most of the day, right? And so, like, our clothes don't get that dirty, <laughs> you know? Okay, so that that didn't do much. Um, earthquake. Oh, you, God. Die. Just die. Die, 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 die. Die. I'm so done with you, Golduck. You're not even that difficult. I just, oh god, I didn't kill him. <sighs> so right, so, so the thing is, so I lost 30 pounds. Um, actually, probably about a year ago now is when I lost it. Um, so, and then I moved across the country, right? You sweet summer child. So, so, uh, so I moved across the country, so I had to throw away all my clothes, but really most of my clothes didn't fit anyway. Um, and the good thing though is that the clothes that I had bought when I, like, because you know when I was losing weight, you have to buy more clothes. It's really expensive. But all the clothes that I had were actually pretty nice business outfits. Um, I'm just gonna do this again, whatever. Uh, and so, and so that meant that I was able to donate uh, my nice business outfits, which I was happy about. Because those are those are extremely helpful. Uh, so I think we we donated it to a uh, to a place to, to a place that like that helps like uh, you know homeless homeless youth and uh, LGBT kind of stuff. So I was like, take my clothes. Because the unfortunate thing is that at a lot of shelters they need bigger sizes than I am, but uh, you know they were they were happy to take them. But I need to buy I need to buy new stuff. I'm just gonna run back and heal up. 
I'm just, I'm mad because it wasn't even that hard to kill. It was just... God, this place is so slow. Uh, it, the only, the whole thing is just that I was trying to get my Pokemon some experience and it was really bad at it. I don't think I've, yeah, I haven't caught a gold duck yet. Harp gold stuff. Really? That's a, that's a fun little glitch. As you guys can see, I have new lighting. Um, I look beautiful. Uh, my parents got me this little lighting set that I had on Amazon. Um, actually, it was uh, $50, and it's, I mean, if you're like an actual photographer and you're like moving this crap around, like it's not gonna be good for you because it's a little unwieldy, uh, but it has like the whole nice umbrella things, you know, so the light's nice and even. Um, it came with three lights. So uh, three lights, two, two kind of, two stands. Actually, one of them is just standing right next to me and it's like, up there, <laughs> so it's up high. So there's two bigger ones and there's one smaller one. Uh, so now I have ultimate lights. Um, and I today I climbed underneath my desk and I organized all of my cables and I set up everything with a remote. Let me show you, I'm sorry, I'm really proud of this remote. Ta-da! Off. <laughs> See, I'm really proud. <laughs> Look, it, it took it took some it took a little effort. Yeah, I, I took advantage of a sale, um, and 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 I got this I got these like remote outlet things, and they're great. So they 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 don't turn on and off with the remote. That's actually I got a separate thing. Oh, there it is. Mean look. Yeah, yeah. Let's play lights out for the rest of the stream. Uh, off and off. <laughs> this is great. This is lovely. What did my computer just do? Oh boy. A sale. No, so my computer's like, you're using a remote and that's upsetting to me. And I was like, why did you? You're not even connected to the same outlet. Ridiculous. Um. Well? Let's go check out what lives in here, huh? Oh, there we go. So rock looks about the same. That's a little disappointing. It's like a very pale Sol rock. Uh, what type do you guys think it is? I think it might be gra uh, grass and something else. Maybe grass and ground. Let's find out. Oh, butterfly. See, that's the thing. Like, every, see, I like everybody else's suggestions, so it's not very effective. Uh, I, don't, I mean, leaf blade, but that doesn't really mean anything. Bug. Okay, probably bug. Yeah, yeah, I can see bug. Let's try rock slide on him. Where are you getting this milk from, Soul Rock? It's a little creepy. A little weird. Well, let's do some great balls, huh? I figure we'll uh, we'll catch a group of Pokemon and then check back to see what they're made of. And where are you these leaves? You don't have leaves. This is ridiculous. I also really should have plugged in this heating pad. I'm having some shoulder issues recently, so I'm trying to keep better posture while I stream. The appendage at the bottom. I did a really Banff painting uh, this Pokemon, and I uh, I sold it, so I'm happy it's on somebody's wall right now and not in my pile. Oh no! Don't do that. Oh, your health went back up because of milk drink. That's why. I'm talking and not paying attention. Let's do this milk drink. I don't want to like get it down any lower. Yeah, fun fact, Artemis251 uh, was on uh, Starman.net, which is funny because I recognize the name. Nope, don't go in there, Haley. The 
This is a good battle tune. Yeah, painting this whole series has really helped me appreciate um, Pokemon. I don't know if, if you guys didn't see my painting last night. Uh, we decided that these Pokemon were having a party together. Uh, so on this side we have our, uh, our Gorbis. Shotgunning a beer. Um, Huntail is a bad influence. We decided this is the Wisconsin Pokemon, and for one glorious moment, somebody changed... Um, for one glorious moment, somebody changed the entry on Bulbapedia. But of course, they put it back right away. And anyway, the reason why Clam Pearl is drinking the most is because Clam Pearl is double as heavy as the two of these. It was a fun night. <laughs> so, if you don't attend my painting streams, because they're not your jam, that's cool. They're kind of good in the background streams, uh, but sometimes crazy things happen. Did I just kill him? Oh, I did. Yeah. Well, good. Seems like Soul Rock's a pretty easy thing to run into. God, what is with your stupid milk drink? Alright, this is gonna be it. Right here. Good, I can't escape. Well, I wasn't planning on it. Cause we were talking about how, uh, oh, oh yeah, we also thought up our own, um, well I decided to start like writing some information about all the Pokemon ahead of time. And uh, I added a couple things to there. I of course added a few things to, uh, to you know, to their list is that uh, Gorbis is the uh, Wisconsin Pokemon and Huntail is the Bad Influence Pokemon. <laughs> what is it? Well, Water Monkey, all the names are randomly chosen. Um, like, I know attacking two kids because we had a room together at, um, at PAX. We, he roomed with us. But I've never watched any of his things. I've never even watched Josh Jefferson's things. Sorry, Josh, if you're watching. I like your, I like your live streams. I'm a fan of those. I just don't watch LPs. I'm weird. I don't know. Like, I'm just too old. Oh, it's a foot shorter than me. Oh, how is the race? Oh my god, Joshy D beat BGT by like, oh my god, BGT couldn't finish. She did so bad and Joshy D just like creamed him. It was really great. I was up all night watching that. Uh, some days, keep Soul Rock line up facing the sun and absorb its light. Give a nickname to the captured Soul Rock? Yes. All right, Google Forms. What do you have to say here? This, my friends. Yeah, he, he like, not only did he win, he mopped the floor with BGT. I, I don't, like, I watch speedrunners, but I watch a lot of races. I think they're very fun, like, randomizer races. This one was a randomizer. This is a game they hadn't played in a long time. Beautiful. All right, well, let's try to catch somebody else, huh? Loudred, hello. I feel like, I thought I caught one of those, but maybe I've just seen them a lot. Oh, thank you. I appreciate your help. <laughs> Alex is bringing me drugs. By drugs, I mean an aspirin. Jeshi Jobson, thank you, you did it. Don't fight, Haley. Don't do that. Yeah, I probably catch Whismer. Yeah, he really, he really did that. So, so I, I, I photoshopped a new picture because he got creamed so badly. He restarted the game and played through it again, like and like finished like over an hour later. So I, you know, got to photoshop a cat in a top hat on a. Uh, on George Washington's face. Of course. Um, this is Pablo Picasso. I 
See how much I can fit. Can I fit it all? No, I can't. But we'll try. P-I... C... Hmm, I can't fit it, so... We're just gonna do Pablo P. And maybe I should just go with Picasso. Yeah, probably Picasso is probably the best. That'll, that'll cover the spirit of it. No, no, no. As a reminder, I'm using a, a, a obviously an Xbox controller. And sometimes it's it's lame. P-I-C-A-S-S-O. Pablo Picasso was sent to limbo. We need another beer. Now I'm selling my first beer. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, I'm gonna catch it, but I don't wanna. <laughs> ah! He's like an, he's like a rotting Mr. Mime. I'm really unhappy about this Pokemon. Uh, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. <laughs> Alright. It, yeah, it looks diseased. Holy crap. This is gonna be a really annoying fight, I bet you. It's gonna like use up all of my everything. Well, I don't. It's okay, Josh. I really, I forgive you for what you did, cause <sighs> we'll find another one though. I mean, I appreciate your critical hit. I truly do. Hit <laughs> it! I have many lights. They're great. Yeah, I just got like a cheapy one. Um, it's from like Zap. It was it was on sale for literally like five dollars. During I think it was like a like a Black Friday. No, I think it was it was on Prime Days. That's what it was. Excuse me, using the fast forward just to hurry this up. Yeah, nope. Uh, do not allow Mr. Mime to hang out with your family. Hey, Tune. Mr. Lime. <laughs> he looks like a, if he's a lime, he's a pretty moldy lime. <laughs> That's Mr. Mab's face. Heart attack. Again, don't be critical. Oh, you son of a... <sighs> I know what it's like to be immobilized by love. I do. Slash pup, you are so wrong. Don't fall in love with effin Mr. Mime. You have bad taste. You have terrible taste, Slush Pup. I will not allow this in my life. I will not, you cannot. If you bring Mr. Mime home and expect me to like him, mm -mm, there's, there will never be somebody in my Pokemon family dating a Mr. Mime. <laughs> Dating him, yeah, nope. Slush pup, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm catching him, but you can't, no. It's gonna be a uh, no for me, dog. <sighs> Master of Pantomime can convince others that something unseeable actually exists. One believe the major major havoc does become real. Can you convince me that I have a million dollars in my bank account? That would be the best. I'm specious. You're right. It's true. I am. <sighs> He'd also be a good Pablo Picasso, you know. <laughs> so we got a somewhat appropriate name. Uh, this is Joker. Ugh. All right. I'm just gonna run around a couple more times here, just to. I think. I think that's all the Pokemon in there. 
I'll just run it three more times. Oh, thank you. Wubbuffet, hello, my friend. How are you doing? Wubbuffet, what are you? Flying type? I'm going with flying type. It's your dog's name. Don't glow at me. Oh, Wubbuffet. All I can think of is, uh, every time I see Wubbuffet, all I can think about is how he says his name in Smash Brothers Brawl. Wubbuffet! That was a really good impression. Yeah, I'm really good at impressions. <laughs> Yep, it's an all shinies hack. <laughs> you caught me. No. It's an all better hack. Everything's better. <laughs> yeah, I decided it's a common thing people say, so I, uh... I always put in the title. Also, because there's a, there's a remarkable amount of people that don't really know anything. How can you burn something that is rock and water type? This game upsets me. Oh my god. Why are you a thing? What the hell is wrong with you, Wobbuffet? Why do you know Payday? Okay, well... Uh. Oh, I have Ultra Balls now. I didn't even realize that. I forgot that I can buy those. What was I doing? Yeah, this is a randomizer, so everything is, uh, everything's exciting. Scorch Earth. <sighs> Come on. This is intense. Like, catching Pokemon is super intense in this game and a gigantic waste of my money. Yeah, it's a different one. I, I, I That's what I like best about it. Because it, it kind of gives you an idea. Oh my god! What are you doing, Wobbuffet? You're a bad Pokemon. Get in. Get in it. Get in it. You son of a- oh, whoop of it. No, you did not. You did not. You did not just do that in front of me. The catch rates- I think they are, yeah. It's- the catch rates are the same. Yeah, if you want to see Salty Haley, this is the best stream of mine to watch, because this is like where I hit maximum salt. Thank you, RNG. Jesus. <laughs> Usually docile, but if it strikes back ferociously if its black tail is attacked. It makes us layer in caves or it waits for nightfall. That's creepy. Yes! Well, if it, what is your name? You are... That is way too long. This here is a uh, berry. Berry was transferred. <laughs> Poor Barry and his berry coins. Hey, that's perfect. He's got payday. I just realized that. All right, I'm gonna run back here and uh, heal and look at the things that I got. Pud has many arms. Pud has more arms than you can even imagine. <laughs> I just realized that is the perfect name. <laughs> I don't know, because like Alex was teaching me about this thing because he was raised Catholic. I was Lutheran, so we're like, nah, fuck you Catholics. Uh, but is there is there a good sign for RN Jesus? 
R. <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't work very well. <laughs> Move. Let's look at our new friends. Petrosaur rock is electric and grass. I was right. It was it was grass. One point for me. Uh, water and dark type is Picasso. We have creepy ground Joker, who's a Mr. Mime. They all have like random items. Uh, and then we have a flying and dragon Wobbuffet. Um, and it powers up with minus. <laughs> Can we just like, just look at this guy? I mean, like this is a there, there's there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Wow! Wow! That special attack! Oh! You guys seeing that? Uh, flamethrower, soft boiled, payday, and sky attack. Is Barry somebody we want to have in our team? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, all of my recovery. You're right. I didn't even think about that. I'm actually gonna quick plug in my heating pad just because it makes my back hurt less when I'm streaming. You guys tell me if this is a good one I should keep on my team or if that's gonna be a no for you, dog. I'm getting old now. I'm gonna be 29 this year, right? Isn't that terrible? How did that happen? How, how have I been on this earth for 20, almost 29 years now? This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. My doggo is out there, unfortunately. Leica is, uh... However, Leica has discovered pillows. Um, I've woken up in the middle of the night with her up trying to take my pillow. but it'll never learn anything else. Yeah, Barry could replace Cookie. I mean, we'll, we, we'll, let's get Cookie to evolve, because I know Cookie's getting close here. Be bad at dying, you're right, yeah. So far, I haven't been that bad at it. Uh, congratulations, me. It does, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's the same ones. We don't want that. I just, I want Cookie to evolve so we can have it be done. I do like F minus because that's the kind of thing that like that's like the kind of thing that I say. <laughs> All right, I feel like we really took care of that patch of grass. Um, well, let's see what happens. Oh, you're Haley. Hi. Do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how much stronger you become? You don't even give me a chance. Okay, cute interview. It's my stalkers! There they are! The stalker Gabby and Ty. Get out of my life. Do you think they're dating? Hey, it's Asifras Mini Raid! I love that Torchic though. Welcome. It just had to like pop up for one more moment because that's how this works. Yeah, right? Aren't these lights great? So, so the thing is about this game too is that there is apparently there is a chance that when a Pokemon evolves, the color scheme will switch. Cause you know, there's like three colors for each type. There's a chance that when it evolves, it'll just switch to a different one. So that's kind of like a shiny, but they have to evolve. Octazooka. That's a new one. Not really. I mean, I remember that one now. Eh. You there. Why not use it again? See you later, Mankey. I feel like once Cookie evolves, it'd be, be much better. Ha! 
<sighs> it's pretty shitty torch. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I didn't- I did not try to press that button. But I did. That's life. Clearly I'm a very professional gamer and I'm so happy that you're watching me and my high-tech skills over the masters at AGTQ. <laughs> Yeah, steel type. I feel like ours was a slightly different color, but I could be misremembering because we named it Porchik because it looked like an off. No! Oh, it wasn't Torchic who we saw. Sorry, I'm confusing my Pokemon. We saw a wannabe Torchic. But it wasn't an actual Torchic, and we named it Porchic. Preposterous! Remember, it's a quote you gave us since the battle clincher for last time. I never, ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be Yasher? Yeah, Go. What are my feelings about this battle? Um. So let's see what's in J. I, I, want, I just want joke. I don't want joking. Pokers? Poke game? What? I just pick random things. Um. Oh no, I, I used P last time. I can't use that word. Never. No, no, I showed it a negative. Sorry, I saw a much better line. Negative. <laughs> Make sure you look. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Stop filming me! I didn't give you permission. You're a creep. Where did I think? Oh no, I didn't see that. Okay, um. Oh. Where's Steven up there? I should probably save. It's been a little while. But yeah, I'm very pleased with my new lights. Um, they made everything a lot better. But I, I was showing off that I can I can turn them off, and then it's really dark. <laughs> Obviously, uh, Wingman Robert would like to battle. Oh look, it's mega. It's a green mega leg code. I think you're confused about what a bird Pokemon is. How, what are you, okay, so that has to be Mega Leg Trode, because that was, that kicked, you know? They are really fun to play with now that I have them on a remote. <laughs> no, no, he's got legs. You just can't see him. I can't remember what type he is. I know we've caught one. I can't remember if it was like, it was like poison or bug. This is Dragon Dance. All praise, Mega Leg Trode. They're, they're just, they're kicking so fast, they're invisible. I remember, I love that animation. That was like a super impressive animation when I was younger. Whatever, yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, he's like flying. <laughs> you 
Your Pokemon were stronger. Clearly, dude. You could be counting on to get better. But then I'm just gonna beat you even harder every single time. Let's get me some items. You good. There's a nest ball in this world. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Percent, yeah, I never made that connection. I can't decide. Is this a parallel? I mean, is this a parallel universe? But I, I like to think that my character knows what should be right, and so she's very horrified and concerned about the state of this world. Hey, thanks for the host, yo. It's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Haley, are your Pokemon ready for battle? Yeah. Show me your true power as a trainer. <laughs> That's right, they're all gonna be legendaries. Um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, just for safety's sake, because they're not gonna be the same Pokemon, um, I'm gonna make a save state of this. I'm naming it this one, just in case. Um, so, uh, yeah, because if I kill it, like, I can't, I won't have another chance. I think it's dark type and possibly, it could be ghost, it could be dragon. We'll find out. But that's a bamf looking Pokemon. Oh good, well you are a space Pokemon. Use acid, get it high. <laughs> See, I, I feel like, cause like that blue, the dragon blue is often similar. You tried to, the raid didn't work? I'm sorry, did you use the command? I'm so confused. <laughs> hey, Mr. Rowan. Um, I'm confused too, if that helps you out any. Um, it's a randomizer, so nothing makes sense. If you'd like to submit some names though, the Pokemon's names are also randomized. If you do exclamation point nickname or nicknames, I put both of them on there, it'll bring you to a place you can just deposit some names. Steel, you're right, there is some- there is some in that. Okay, I could use... acid. <laughs> At right the same time, did it. I can't do anything, because he has me trapped. Um, I just kind of got to let him kill me. Hey, well that's nice. What would be the most useless stat? I, yeah, I'm wondering, like, what would be, like, the worst possible stat that they could have at 150? Fissure just creeps me out. The word does. I'm stuck here. I would switch out Pokemon and make this go faster, but uh, Cookie is unfortunately all I'm allowed to have right now. Depends on the Pokemon. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Metal, welcome back. Have a go with his only special attack. You're right. Yeah, man. God, just 
Kill Cookie. Just kill Cookie. I really just want you to kill Cookie because then I can move on to another Pokemon that actually can attack. Oh good, I can switch now, okay. Oh good, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy that you used Endure, honestly. Well, that helps. Blaze kick? Son of a... Son of a... Anyway, this is why I prepared for this. <laughs> well, we're gonna start out first. Getting rid of that buddy here. Uh... Who is my Pokemon who can catch a lot of Pokemon? Summary. Somebody knows Hypnosis, and I think it's this one. Yeah. Oh, man. Such is life in Pokemon. But I, I feel like it's a randomizer, so using save states... I did, because I had a feeling I might kill it, you know? Well, that did nothing. Um, Earthquake. I don't think capture rates are randomized. I think they're still the same. At least there wasn't a setting for me to change that, so I don't know. I mean, like, the egg steps were the same, and so I'm assuming capture rates are also the same. Come on, put him to sleep, put him to sleep. Good job, Summer. Summer really is a good Pokemon. I mean, it's a shame I didn't get him down into the lower but Oh yeah, I found a Safari Ball. <laughs> well, let's waste all of our money. Wild Deoxys is fast asleep. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna draw this Pokemon here coming up. Has to be ghost. Yeah, I said baby ghost. I'm smarter than I look, yo. You son of a! Don't, don't be a cock tease like that. Is he angry? Oh man, you should, you should. Uh, my friend has a YouTube channel. Um, you should see me play Grand Theft Auto Online, where I start threatening to pee in people's mouths. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, somebody tell him about uh. GTA Online, Haley, or golf with your friends, Haley. Ooh, golf with your friends, Haley, has a real trash mouth. Stefan Jorge. I love GTA Online. Like, like, like I, I mean, like, like I watch the ones that I'm in, but those are always the ones I enjoy the very much. The totes adorbs. Oh yeah, that's the problem. I'm small. I'm cute. It's the usual one. 
<laughs> he reported for sinning. Excuse me, this is a Christian server. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, the, the links are cool, unless people abuse them, and so far I haven't anybody abused them, so... Porta potty Haley. Hi, <laughs> True Rose Maggie. And, uh, was agree. Hello. I'm sorry. You're welcome to report me to the head of this Christian server. Cock tease is in the Bible. <laughs> Thou shalt not cock tease. Yeah, Forever is Angel. That's me, though, right? Like. <laughs> God. Oh, hell. Look, I just, I want everybody to remember the fact that I started playing GTA Online with a broken controller so I couldn't change weapons and I could basically only punch people. I just want, I want everybody to remember that, just, you know. Hey, Xeno! My I was Anime Mom? Oh yeah, I should be Anime Mom again. Yeah, me and Mr. Bowman thought I was, like, cute and nice. It's wrong. I'm terrible. God, screw this. This is terrible. Oh no, what is this Reddit link? Should I be terrified? Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really into those memes lately, so, uh, yeah, you got me. All I want to do is just use hypnosis. Oh god, I should've... I just don't want to listen to that annoying beeping. Hacks, just... Don't, don't worry about me. Well, no, but I can't put anybody to sleep anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't fucking touch me. That was a good one. <laughs> Guys, I'm, a, I'm gonna do a bad. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a save state here, because this has got to keep going. Also naming it this one. There we go. Okay, well, the second time. Didn't even have to use, I swear, the second I make a save state, we're fine. It's Pokemon that mutated from an extraterrestrial virus exposed to a laser beam. Its body is configured for superior agility and speed. Yes. All right. So with with uh, with these ones, if somebody has like a strong opinion on a name, but I, I don't think I feel like no meme started here. Um, this is Goop TM. Oh, not Goopo. Fox Limbo. Oh god, Jackbox that okay. See, I thought I thought I felt like with the last Steven and Friends golf with your friends was the worst one, and then people reminded me of that stupid pandering thing. Like we could have just been like but Steven and then it would have been one every single time. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you, Enduford. I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna go back. I gotta heal up. <laughs> because there's another one up there, and it's gonna be another legendary. Okay, I, I gotta point this out, though. When I was a kid, so, you know, I, I was playing since Pokemon Blue. This part was... You see how you can see my shadow? I was like, holy shit, this is a futuristic game. <laughs> I was so impressed with the fact that I could see my shadow, and like, that just blew my mind. I had never seen something that cool before. Oh yeah, I should save too, thank you.
Goopo. The Goop Pokemon. We already have a Goop Pokemon. I got a really nice one of those, uh, Goomy or whatever. Whatever his name is from, uh, Pinstripe Barbarian, because he breeds Pokemon. His name is Gorgonzola. <laughs> later, Goop. See you later. <laughs> Welcome to my horrible stream. All right, Lynette's BC. Dark, it's only dark type. Ha ha, see I said dark type, didn't I? No, I was like possibly dragon or darker ghost. Um, there you go. Apparently it's just real speedy. That's weird. Maybe it's just because they use cosmic power so much. And Sand Tomb endure Fissure and cosmic power. It is speed for me, right? But like, it is randomized. I don't know. Interesting. Wait, did I heal my Pokemon? Oh yeah. I ain't got no short-term memory, as you can see. Nope, oh, I just took a bunch of screenshots instead of fast-forwarding through this. All right, I wanted to get down here. Oh, I went the wrong way, that's all right. No! Xbox controller, don't do it. Because, yeah, so every Pokemon has like a 20% chance of learning any move, so. Basically their type is only about what they're weak to. I do some slight hacks in this game for money, but it, you see you see how many Pokeballs I go through. You're loving it? Oh, well, welcome, yeah. I have uh, I, I have pretty good streams. I don't know, I, I have streams where we just get to talk about whatever. So before I hit up that one, I'm gonna hit up this little guy over here. Save. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm like, why can't I go forward? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, no problem. I, I said my advice. It doesn't work for everybody, but... All right. Reggie Ice, who does not look like their ice type. Um, as we know, I'm going to make a save state because, uh, you know. What is this type again? Fire type? Beer ice edition. Yeah, don't eat the brown snow, you guys. As somebody who lives in the north, don't eat the brown snow. Let's see, I'm gonna use this flying move and then I'll, that might answer some questions for us. Regiarmal. Well, it worked, it wasn't super effective or anything, but I could still use it. Um, I'm gonna find what. No, so my move doesn't work. So fire, I'm, vo I'm voting fire. And then Alabama Snow stays there for like five minutes. Uh, no, I don't want to kill him. Yeah, I burned my cookie. Uh, maybe 
Maybe I sent out the wrong Pokemon here. I want to use Earthquake, but I'm scared it's gonna kill him. Alright, I'm gonna save here and figure out if it's- Cause I, I'm hoping it's just gonna like, you know, bring him down to the bottom, but... Eighteen inches of snow? Oh uh, yeah, that's the north. Cause I don't know how good his defense is. Yeah, that's what it did. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Um, as most people know, I am trying to get to 2,000 followers, as you can see up above there. And once I do that, I'll be doing a giveaway stream. I'll be giving away my art. Um, I typically do two streams a week with art. Um, and they're real good. Did it say it was weak? I didn't even notice. Let's find out. <laughs> Reggie dead. It's not very effective. Hey, Micro, how's it going? Welcome back. You got a foot, it's cool, yeah. It snowed in Alabama, which is pretty crazy. Um, see, I don't mind using this Aurora Beam because it's really kind of whittling the health down. Did you raid and it not show up? I'm sorry. Did you use the raid command? I mean, I'm assuming you did, but... He has anti- Well, okay, I'm gonna defend the south here. Like, Alabama's hilly as hell. Like, I don't even know... Like, that wouldn't even work in, um... That just, like, wouldn't, like, I wouldn't even be able to plow it in Wisconsin. Let's see, is there a problem with raids? I'm raiding myself with a huge party. Why is it raid one? Well, thank you so much for raiding, I appreciate it. Alright, I'm gonna save here. I mean, as somebody who lived in Wisconsin and Minnesota and then moved down here, well, after pit stop in California. <laughs> in the middle. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you're the priority one, it's a host instead. Hmm. Can I use one more Aurora Beam? Let's find out. Okay, I can. I hate when they have low health, because it's just so loud. Um, then we're just gonna save it here. It's this one. I just need to get a save state button. Hey, King Tim, how's it going? How are you doing today? Sorry about the beeping. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's finally getting warm here again, which is nice. I was up in Minnesota, I mean, I was up in Wisconsin over Christmas, so it was, uh... I don't know if the bingo card works so well for this one. I'm just gonna load. Uh, actually, okay, let's do bag. A funny thing happened, what happened at work? Did you have an accident with the <laughs> with the lift? I hope not. But that's all I can think of. You're a Jan twice. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'm doing all right. I uh, I had a doctor's appointment, so I was a little late. Oh my god. You s penis straws. How many? Yeah, what- I miss it. I mean, people buy everything on Amazon. Moving to her dorm. And Snowhead- oh god, that's scary, yeah. Yeah, I bet. The song is too intense. 
Yeah, yeah, cause I, yeah, my, uh, cause my bingo is mostly for my art stream, so I don't even know. Yeah, usually, like, bachelorette parties have them, and I always get really irritated when I'm at bachelorette parties. I'm like, they've been living with their fiancé for two years, I think. It's not really a mystery, I'm sure they already, you know, they know. <laughs> Like, haha, ha, I'm making a penis kick, and you're like, why? They already know what it looks like. It's not even funny. <laughs> I'm saying this is somebody who's been forced to go to too many bachelorette parties. Everybody's like, tee hee, penises. I'm like, yeah, half the population has them. A little less than half. Like, I had to go to my friend's bachelorette party and the theme is like, naughty and nautical, and I'm like, just kill me now. Just, just right now, take one of those penis straws and just jab it through my eye. Just jab it through my eye. <laughs> I am using the ultra balls. Oh, why did I, uh, why did I press a great ball? I usually, I was using ultra balls before. God, this is ridiculous. <sighs> That's the problem with all these legendaries. It just becomes an adventure. <laughs> Not David Lynch. No, no, no. Why would you? Why would you do that? That's over with. We're done with that. That doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> People should just be able to keep their skin. In my opinion. <laughs> I wouldn't want anybody cutting anything off of me. I'm just gonna load here. <laughs> We're just gonna take care of this situation. Oh my god. Wow. Really? Wow. Wow, uh, that is, this has been intense, you know? You know, like, people are like, it's a penis cake! And I'm like, okay, we're all in our 20s. Like, do we really have to do this? Oh my god! Oh, let me tell you the most awkward story, though. So the first bachelorette party I ever really attended, um, was for my brother's ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, the reason why this is creepy is uh, part of it was that I I was told that I had to bring lingerie for her. Um, I was supposed to bring lingerie for her, and then she had to guess who brought it. Like like she she had to guess who who bought what lingerie, and I'm like. <laughs> Like, I don't, like, first off, like, how weird would it be if she knew which lingerie I bought? And plus, I don't want to buy lingerie for somebody who they're going to wear in front of my brother. Like, that's creepy as hell. And so I had to do it. I was like, can I not? And they're like, you have to do it. And I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the bachelor party's awkward as hell, Damon. Uh, you are not missing out. Oh my god! What is this horrible Pokemon? Um. Yeah, I just like, I walked into H&M. I'm like, I'm not spending money on this. I even bought like the wrong size. I was just like, and this one! <laughs> Okay, so you guys all see why this is awkward. Her friends were like, that's not awkward at all. Her friends were bitches, by the way, like total bitches. Like one of the bridesmaids like took time to talk to me and my sister and explain why we weren't welcome in the wedding party and why we didn't belong there. And I'm like, bitch, she's married to my brother. <laughs> anyway, she's an ex. Her friends are bitches and so is she, so. <laughs> Yeah, why not just eat food? What's wrong with that? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna try to get up to full health so you don't have to listen to this. Oh, I should have gone the other way.
Yeah, yeah, this this her friend was just whoa, I hated her. And she was all like, you're only like she was acting like she was acting like I was a pity invite. Which is weird. Which is really weird, you know? Although there was really, really hilarious happening event at, at this at this bachelorette party. So her sister was there, and her sister's actually super sweet. Um She's like an elementary school teacher, you know. Anyway, so she uh, she was pregnant. Uh, she's she's married, you know. It's time to have kids. Um, so she she was pregnant, but like from the back, like you couldn't really tell. She's one of those women, like she really was carrying it high in the front. And so I was like so done with this bachelorette party, right? Like this was creepy as hell for me. And so I was just like sitting, like we went to a bar that had a sitting area. So the two of us were sitting down because I was like, this is creepy as hell. And she's like, I'm pregnant and don't want to dance in a bar. And so she's sipping on a glass of water and I was like drinking something. Anyway, this guy like comes over from the dance floor and is just like, you know, looking her up and down when she's sitting. So you can't really tell that she's pregnant. And uh, anyway, the guy strides up to her and he says, so what are you drinking? <laughs> and she says, water <laughs> and he goes well why are you drinking water you know and she goes because i'm eight months pregnant <laughs> and the guy just looks at her and goes okay and then turns around and just walks away <laughs> it was so funny it was a very it was a very enjoyable experience that was the best part of it, it was just okay <laughs> yo pinstripe I was talking about your- I was talking about your Gumi. <laughs> I just like how like he was like pulling all the moves and like he didn't even be like, oh, he didn't even like fake interest to end the conversation. He just said, okay, and then turned around. Yeah, I'm not really having a wedding party. It's not really my jam. Yeah, Gorgonzola was great. Became a power hitter in my team. I didn't know Antarctic Ice was, was rusty. <sighs> Alright. This, my friends, is Velveeta. Terrible. Yeah, you had a bunch of cheese names. I'm not Soul Rock. I'm just I'm not dealing with your shit. Well, that's because Velveeta's not a cheese. It's a processed cheese product. We might though, I don't remember. That's the tough part about all about this random name thing I have. I can't get rid of the ones that already happened. Unless I manually go through and it's supposed to Alex said it was supposed to highlight them, but it, I don't see it. It searched it A to Z. Oh my god, I have three Steven suggestions. Jeez, you guys all want a whole bunch of Pokemon name that. Um Where's my hide? Insert, insert, delete, delete. That's weird. Let's delete row. Um, Velveeta is not on the list. Okay, no, there it is. All right, why did that happen? Hide row.
All right, let's see you. The Pokedex, if you do exclamation by Pokedex, it's all the information and shows the names. I just have to, I can only update at the end of each stream, obviously. Um, all right. So actually, I don't think I've taken screenshots. So let's look at our, look at our buddies here. Electric and grass. I'm gonna stop moving. Stop moving! Water and dark. Ground. I got the save, don't worry guys. I'll save once I get out of here. We have Barry as a flying dragon. Goop. Who's dark? Yeah, definitely fire. With water gun, because, you know, why not? Mr. Mime is so creepy. It's like a rotting Mr. Mime. No, 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 no. I didn't want to press that button. <sighs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah, he's just creepy. You guys ready for another one? I'm not. <laughs> but I have to do it in order to get to the boss here. Um... <sighs> oh well, if I already have one, that happens. Dr. Luigi, I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm just gonna sell all these so that I can't accidentally press them anymore. Yeah, I, I never actually played I played Ruby. Alright, uh, but still, Barry works for him, I don't care. We are swimming in money, it's true. But I have to use up every- Goddamn Pokeball that I own. Oh yeah, this one flees. Okay. I did not want to fight it. Yeah, I couldn't remember either way, honestly. Alright. Uh, Alright, is I'm sure either she's gonna have plenty of fire type po a flying type Pokemon, I'm positive. I'm not letting you witness. Jeez, creeper. Gross. A Trico is pretty cool, though. Yeah, this is kind of a lame one. I like to fight everybody in the gym because I find as, as long as I fight everybody who I come across, I usually don't have to grind that much. Yeah, they're wingman. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the 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 trainer names are also randomized. It's I'm assuming this won't work very well, but let's find out. Yeah, we're good. You can keep copying my damp move, I guess. I mean, that's a little weird, but... Aw, beer's out. Bam! Cookie! weird. I don't get it. I want some of the hide command goes away on Google, but, uh, anyway. Row. I'm gonna flip that row. I'm 
looking through here. Oh man, there's a lot of duplicates. I, sh I just haven't really looked at it. A lot of Stevens, like various Stevens. It also, why did multiple people suggest the word shoe? Just out of curiosity. Right? Got two of them. I hate double battles. I have senpai and senpai with a question mark, exclamation point. This is some great flying Pokemon you guys have got there. Oh yeah, these are the cute little strawberry ones. They're very precious. Pokemon. Ah. God, it's been a long time since I've seen that episode. See ya. A lot of Pokemon here, I got it. Well, they're all very red and pink. I'm not sure what this is about. I'm trying to keep Cookie alive because I want Cookie to get the experience points, so just hurry up to Nevaults. I mean, it's doing like all right, you know, but. Send Pie. I approve. Hundred and eighty four experience points. Fundraiser, Ashley. That is a cool looking site there. I, I think I own one. It's electric type, if I remember correctly. Um that knows that move for whatever reason. Um here. Cause I think that polywig is psychic. But it's dead now. It's dead type Pokemon. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Alright, uh Wingman Jera is in a Beedrill. That is a bad fucking Beedrill. Um I feel like there's been a lot of fire type. I don't know what you guys think, but that's what I think. Cookie is electric? Yeah, Cookie is actually electric type. Sign pie. Maybe it's ice. I can't- I already can't remember. <laughs> No, he's not a legend. He is ice. You're right. Oh god. Can't get can't keep my colors straight. You are completely right. I'm the loser here. Man, it is status problems over here. Um Oh, I forgot to use an item. I was gonna use an item on it. Oh, I did so bad. Alright. A 
awakening. I'm sure she's the right thing for it. All right, how can you grow up? Woke up, not grew up. Same thing. Became woke. Special attack bell. I should just, yeah. Jalapeno's too good to go down like this. I just, I don't, okay, does anybody like really love devil battles? I just, I don't understand the point of them. You I missed? Yeah, I'm kind of dragging these battles out because again, I want Cookie to stay alive. Are you done? All right. Oh man, I attacked the wrong one too. I was meaning to kill Scyther. Hey, the guy. I just feel like it doesn't add anything to it. A triple battles kind of has some strategy to it, but I feel like this is just like, ah, oh, it's a bunch of Pokemon. They're on the field. That's cool. That's gotta be dragon. Oh, no PP up for this move. Um, whatever. Let's switch out here. You've been doing pretty good, but. Sully doubles? Really? It's true, yeah, I'm sure there's stuff you can actually do, but like when I'm just playing, I'm just like, what do you do with these? I mean, it's too late for me to really do that, but you know. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, but I figured I'd try it anyway. Start tomorrow? When do you, yeah, do you guys have got classes? Uh, have you been on break? When do you go back? My school always started after uh, Martin Luther King Day. Nice! Is it gonna be the start of the new semester for you? Or, um,. Because I know some people, they don't do finals like January or something, which is weird to me, but you're not thinking about it in a minute. <laughs> Sorry for reminding you. Oh boy, well that's a, f yeah, that's a good lesson. How did you, what, what, what was the, uh, what happened? <laughs> what was the consequence of falling asleep? New semester yesterday. You're strong. Yeah, I don't miss college. I got my degree. We good there. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yes, I do. I'm just gonna run outside quick and uh, heal up. Cookie's out of moves. Poor Cookie. I just want Cookie to evolve. Oh, see you later, Wizardry. Hope to see you again. I hope you have a good night. Good luck with your homework. <laughs> yeah, last time, oh God. Last time I actually used a uh, soldering iron was uh, middle school, actually. It's sewing, nice, that's cool. I need to take a sewing class. What level does, uh, what level does, uh, Electrike, whatever. Electike. What is its name, actually? God, I'm just wrong, because I just know it is Cookie now. Elekid, that's, 
I was in the kid area. It's 30. So I have to get it. So I have to get it up to level 30. Perfect. Yeah, I need to take a sewing class this year. Uh, good news though is, so I, I have an I have an embroidery sewing machine uh, that belonged to Alex's mom, and I'm trying to make the projects, trying to complete the projects that she wanted to do with me. Um, and I couldn't because it was missing some of the important software. However, uh, they seem to have found it. Oh, more doubles? Come on. Hey, look, sewing is super useful. Like, I use it all the time. Like, just for- I mean, I'm not that good, but I still use it. Oh, Spawn Camper and Wigman. That is an angry Doug Trio. I should've switched out Jalapeno, but you know. I'm gonna try to take down this Butterfree. I just want it to die. Yeah, you better be hit with recoil. Alright, alright. Yeah, Butterfree down. No Arctic Trio. Oh yeah, that one's dark type. Possibly flying as well? Which is, oh yeah, he's gotta be flying, cause a Diglett, Diglett's actually flying, is dark and flying type. Um, yeah, funny story. <laughs> wow, a lot of m monochrome over there. Yeah. Finally, we have one flying Pokemon here. I really need to switch him out and spread the love a little bit. And by love, I mean experience points. Go, Josh Jepson. Dugong, use Razor Leaf. You tried. Oh, nope. Because, uh, the randomizer said so. That's why. Because RN Jesus decreed it. I had nothing to do with it. Blame our Lord and Savior. I show you these things are just so long. All right, uh, rock slide. Yeah, don't forget our in Jesus. I'll screw you too. Nidoran. It's kind of a sad ending for it. Um, sure, I guess Sky Attack. Um, I'm gonna wake up Josh Jepson. Oh, don't go there. Oh, no! God, I hate Xbox controllers. Yeah, I think I caught one of those. Or at least, I don't know. Well, so much for waking him up. Oh, oh. You messed up, dude. You sent out Summer. It's a 
pretty darn good Pokemon. <laughs> Bet you regret that move now, Nidoran. I lost. It's too much of a load for me to bear. Of course it was. I'm great. You're not. <laughs> Creep. Alright, well, let's fight this dude. I don't think I have. Oh, it's went up. Remember that Pokemon? Are you gonna poison him? Oh, I was hoping he would. Dynamic punch. What? How do you do a punch? You are a pile of blonde hair. There are trumps to pay. Oh yeah, this I got a decent amount. Son of a bitch! The well, slush pup could use it. Who is Darius? He's <laughs> got like little, little tiny hands. Pew! seem to know your stuff. Of course I do. Master. Whatever. Alright. We're gonna get out just so I can uh, heal up. <laughs> I hate how they make you walk on those things. It's like, why would you have a town that just slows you down for no reason? At least in my opinion, it slows you down for no reason. Thank you. Saving. Spend some time. Oh. I do like catching Pokemon because you get all the cool types, but. Is there any, like, hidden items in here? No. Alright. remember how to do this one. Hmm, so that one's not right. Back this way. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, I remember this part confusing me a bit when I was a kid. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think this is it. That wasn't so bad. Oh, I made it. I have no idea how this battle's going to go, because I have literally no idea what type of Pokemon she's going to have. But let's go for it. No, no, I'm the leader of the four tree Pokemon gym. I become one with bird Pokemon and sword the skies. However grueling our battle, we have triumph with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. I'm realizing I could probably twist that down a little bit. Are you sure? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Maybe not in the first time, but... Yeah, gym leaders have been pretty hard.
Union worker. Yeah, Victory Bell flies a lot. Mm hmm. First, I'm gonna set up these spikes, huh? Or else you're gonna kill me with takedown. You didn't, okay. The Switch broke controllers? Yeah, people love those. Um, do you want to just put it in the fridge and I'll eat it when I'm done? Thank you. There's my dog. There's a Bluetooth adapter, cool. He brought me some food. I could eat it but I would feel rude. The dog, yeah, dog is out. Little doggus. Little pupperton. That's quite the voice. See you later, Victory Bell. Not much victory for you. Hypothetical food. Yeah, well, last night there was hypothetical food. I'm gonna send Cookie out again, but again, that's just so that I can switch it. I have never had problems with that at all. We had a potty trainer, yes, but Lika knows where to go to the bathroom. Dogs that should that go poop on the rug are uh, badly trained dogs. <laughs> or old ones. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. As long as you clean up properly with an enzyme spray, they can't- they don't smell it and it doesn't identify as a place to go to the bathroom. But even when we got her, yeah, badly trained or distressed, yeah. It's- it, it's a sign that things aren't going great for the dog. <laughs> but there's a remarkable amount of terrible dog <laughs> Paintbrush in game and drop it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the 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 the, uh, the paintings the painting bingo doesn't work great for this. Oh, that's right, you got drink it. All right, I'm just gonna switch you out for now because you're not really getting anywhere. It's not a Danningorf. Danningorf's weak, but maybe I just need to get rid of Danningorf. Jess Jobson. Chex Mix and French Vanilla Tea in a wine glass. Yeah, I mean, dogs will do that if they weren't properly potty trained. Um, but yeah, the most important thing is to make sure you're cleaning up with an enzyme spray. I um, mean, that's with any bodily fluid. Vomit, whatever. Do I have a hypno? I feel like I caught one. I don't remember though. This is going pretty well for me. Um, I mean, I've been, I mean, yeah, these guys are kind of weakened here, but I've been able to send out Cookie every time to get some of those sweet, 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 sweet experience points. I really shouldn't talk too soon. I'm thinking that's another dragon type. If you're unfamiliar with enzyme sprays, I would say Google it. They'll explain it better than I can. What is the pink? So I think it's normal and dragon type. I 
icy wind. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like it doesn't like to go to the bathroom inside anyway. I think it's uncomfortable. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where she was before. Probably in a cage or a barn or something. Um, but she's great. Like, lately she's been a little bit nervous about leaving the apartment. Um, but that's mostly because uh, they were painting and it was really scary. And uh, even though she's like iffy on going outside, she still wakes me up every morning to go outside. I just have to coax her outside. But she gets up every morning, she's like, all right, I need to go, but I'm scared, so I need your help. <laughs> I work great for you, Kingdra. Congratulations. Yeah, I, I would honestly recommend getting an adult dog for your first dog. Um, yes, Laika has some issues because she's a rescue, um, but it's really not any more issues than a puppy would have, and like the puppy phase lasts for like two years. Um, in case you don't know that. <laughs> like, the, like, like, yeah, I mean, usually by the end of year one they've got it down, but like the first two years they're still a puppy. And so I, I recommend getting an adult dog like we did. Cause like she, the thing is, the thing about an adult dog is that they can learn tricks just fine. It's a total, ru it's a total rumor that you can't train an adult dog, um, for one. So it's, a, it's that's a complete rumor. And, um, and, and, and second of all, you know the temperament already and you know, you could figure out immediately kind of what they're motivated by and you know they're, but you know that you, you know what they do, I guess. Ooh, muddy water. Ooh, that might kill me. Oh, jalapeno. Yeah, I mean, it, but whether you get a puppy or an adult dog, just adopt. I mean, the thing, like, like pure, like, there's people I know who have like love for pure breads, and I mean, I there's breeds I love as well. But they're so inbred. Um, <laughs> like their, their life expectancy is going to be lower than a dog that's a, like mine is a mutt. Is this slap people when you want something? Man, they suck at items. Because the items that they use are also randomized clearly, so some of them aren't very good. Um, I mean, I'm a first-time dog owner. I mean, I have it as a kid, but, you know, it's different. Um, but, like is great. God, there's still one more. All right, well, Cookie, go out there. This is, yeah, this is the last one. Mr. Snappy. Purebred, he goes inbred. Yeah, yeah. Same for members of royalty. I- I'm not really a cat person, no. I don't like things that poop in my house. I think that's- that's- it, that's my biggest thing that weirds me out about cats, is I just- I don't want a thing that poops in my house. I need to poop outside where it belongs. Brilliant, Kingler. I know, but if you have a cat, if you make it be an outdoor cat, and there's a lot of problems. I don't like cats. I mean, I'm just, I'm just straight up, I don't like cats. Um, my friends have cats. They love them. That's cool. I just, I find cats to be very cold. <laughs> and I had, okay, for the record, I had a cat uh, when I was a kid, and we didn't like it. <laughs> And, and I don't have a problem with people who are cat people. Like, cool, you have a pet that you love. That's awesome. I just don't like them. 
Like, it's not like I'll ever, like, kick a cat or anything ridiculous like that, you know? Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know. If you're gonna live in my house, you better... You, you better... Better be my... Be, you know, you better be thankful. I feel like cats aren't thankful. Yeah, my family had a cat before we got a dog, and we were kind of... Mm, I don't know. Like, my dog, you know, like, loves the shit out of me, and... You know, she's... She's very, I mean, you know, she's very, she's super loyal, um, I like, I like taking her out on walks, and I know you can do that with cats, but it's like a whole ordeal to train them, um, things like that. We did it! I mean, it's not exactly a huge, it's not a huge myth if I've had a cat and it was pretty aloof. I'm saying I had one as a kid, his name was Nelly. Finally! All right, so these answers are randomized. Absorb, it's cheapness. Nothing could possibly avoid it. <laughs> All right. I don't know, I just, I, I like dogs. I like, I like how they are. I, I don't know, I like everything about dogs. Absinthe person. <laughs> Ever had any Kubler absinthe? I don't care about Scott. I mean, again, it's not like I go out of my way to attack cats or anything. I just don't want one living in my house. <laughs> Uh, Kubler, K U B as in boy, L E R. Well, there's good dogs and there's bad owners. There's good owners and bad owners. That's really what it boils down to. And I told you some people would be afraid of dogs. I was mauled by a German Shepherd when I was really young, like three or four. Um, I still have scars on my face from it. But I still like dogs. <laughs> Uh, no, it was it was Nelly uh, from the book. Um, it's by an author whose last name is Babbitt. Uh, it was a book. It's the same author who made Tuck Everlasting. Nelly, a cat on her own, by Natalie Babbitt. I just think there should be a license to have jobs. <laughs> uh, that, that, that was the book that, that she was named after. My neighbors were the, my neighbors, that was her grandma, actually. Hello, j -Klaus. See, I, I've, said, I've said it before, the thing about cats is that every single cat owner says the same thing, which is, well, you haven't met my cat. <laughs> and then you go and meet their cat, and obviously it's the same as every other cat, because, like, you're not their owner, they don't like you very much. But I just feel like, I feel like cat owners always build up this huge hype. Like, I accept that people don't like dogs. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait for you to meet my dog. And if somebody's like, I don't like dogs, I'm like, cool, I'll put her away then. The cat owners are always like, just wait till you eat mine, eat my cat. It's totally different. My cat's different. <laughs> I'm like, you're all the same. <laughs> and I, I mean, obviously, they're going to warm up. Like, for example, Laika needs to warm up. She's got anxiety. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, the raining area. Oh, I just saved. 
That's why you know. I think I said in a previous stream that 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 it was it was cat owners. Cat owners ruined cats for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It hates everyone but you, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, my dog is cool, uh, but, you know, she's gonna be terrified of you. I mean, Kepler and Sagan, they don't like, you know, they, they're not my cats. So they, you know, they're the same as every other cat. <laughs> except for, except for Kenneth, uh, Kenneth, Kepler's Kenneth. Kepler's, there's something wrong with Kepler, like seriously wrong. I, like, I, I'm impressed that, that, he, that he figured out how to use the litter box, and so are Steven and Mallory. They are also impressed by this. No, oh, I painted them before. But again, people love them. Yeah, you know. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I hate a lot of dog owners. I'm not gonna lie. No, they tried to teach him to use the bathroom, but the cats couldn't figure it out, so they stopped and went to a litter box. Where do you flying type? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, like when you, like when, when you raise a cat, it's totally different. I totally get it. Um. The bad influence Pokemon. Oh, it's gone. It's just I like, kept trying, kept meeting them, and I was like, this one's not any different. I don't know. Again, I'm just not a cat person. I like, I like spending a lot of time training. I really do. Um, actually, I was very smug about this. So when I first got Leica, like she, uh, at, at, you know, I'm, I'm working on this with her right now, but she has. She wants to play with other dogs, but she's very conflicted. <laughs> like, she she's she's really anxious. Um, she's really she's like she's an anxious dog, and so sometimes she'll bark at other dogs, and that's a that's a no no for me. Like that's not going to continue. That's something I'm going to train out of her. And uh, so there was this lady with this huge dog. Like she's got this big dog, and and I saw her like one of the first mornings I brought Leica out, and so Leica you know kind of bushled up and was like. She was hiding behind my legs and barking a little bit. Again, she doesn't like constantly bark, it's just like a couple barks, and I'm like, mm-mm, you stop that right now. <laughs> and anyway, the lady like got up all like mad at me and took her dog, and she's like, we're gonna leave. And she's like, I took my dog to a behaviorist, I highly recommend it. Uh, guess whose dog likes to jump up on you every time you see him in the hallway? Guess whose dog broke his leash? Trying to escape broke his leash because he was so excited to see like it literally broke it and just took off down the hallway at us <laughs> And I'm like My dog doesn't jump on people <laughs> I felt real smug about that because she was like oh, it's right. I can use fly now She was just like, acting like I was a terrible pet owner when I'd only owned her for a couple days. <laughs> no, I've seen some cool videos of trained cats, and I'm super impressed. I'm assuming they're like dogs, like some of them are food motivated, some of them are toy motivated, some of them are affection motivated? Probably. Oh god, huskies are crazy. They're a high energy dog though, whoa. I don't know, I just thought it was funny that this lady was- Oh my god, don't do this, controller. This lady was all like, My dog's perfect, because I better to behavior if. It's not, honey. She made me feel so bad, like, she made me feel so awful that I changed my schedule in the morning because I didn't want to run into her again. <laughs> no, no, all dogs are the best dogs. That's what I say. All dogs, all dogs are good dogs. Every, see, every owner says their dog is the best dog, and everyone is right. Bulldog's high energy. Yeah, like a. We think she's half whippet, um, which is which is basically a medium greyhound. Um, it's not quite like a miniature one. It's like there's big one, there's miniature one, there's whippet in the middle, and she. Um, 
she, she, she switches drastically, but she has two energies. She has like, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. And then she has, I just want to be a couch potato. Kiss her or enough, yeah, so affection. All right, well, who's gonna learn fly? So apparently Jalapeno can fly, Cookie can fly, uh, Josh Jepson can fly, and Summer can fly. Who should be our flying Pokemon here? There's a part of me that says Jalapeno just because it's funny. Um, but again, I don't, I don't think that cats are awful. It's just everybody has their preferred pet. You know, some people really love goldfish. I mean, you can fly, do it. Yeah, Josh could also fly. Oh, Josh. Oh, Thomas. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm working on like his anxiety. Um, but I, 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 it's, it's somewhat nice, because if she's scared, her first reaction is to either hide behind my legs or go back to the doorway that we left the building in. So. Riding Josh Jepson. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a common thing. But yeah, like, the thing is, the, the plus side to, like, is anxiety, um, I feel like, because, like, Josh doesn't really know any good moves right now. And you already know Surf. I don't know, let's teach it to him, why not? I like hermit crabs. I hermit crabs are surprisingly affectionate. <laughs> and I mean it. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I'm just gonna use it. I don't want to go back. Okay, um, oh, I know flying now. I don't have to run around anymore. Oh man, look at, look at all the stuff I've been up to. Hedgehogs are great, yeah. Here's my HM side part two. I don't know. Like, I, 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 like I, I wasn't, like, when I was younger, I wasn't, like, a kid who was like, I love dogs. Like, that was not the kind of person I am. Um, but uh, when my childhood dog passed away, I kind of realized, I was like, wow, I really like her a lot, you know? And, uh, and my, my bosses at the time had a really well-trained dog. Uh, they referred to him as their furry child. They had their regular child, then they had the furry child. Um... And Stony, his name is Stony. He was so wonderful. Like it was so great to have a dog that was well trained. Oh, well, you're new. And I had really never seen one that that well trained before. Uh, hmm, what type are you? Let's find out. That didn't do anything. Oh God, you know roll out. Oh. And it's super effective. It's just gonna get worse and worse, isn't it? Can I switch? I don't remember. Oh yeah, you can switch in here and roll out. And then like, when I was in college, I was like, oh, I started kind of wanting a dog, but then after I graduated from, it wasn't really until I started moving to LA that I was like, I want a dog. I want a dog so badly. I really, really want a dog, but I can't own one here. Let's see here. And then once we moved here, she's been really helpful. Cause I mean, we, we had a really hard year last year. Um, and it was nice to have just this cute little thing that wanted to hang out with you. <laughs> that you could hold while you cried. <laughs> and plus, you know, her anxiety is so bad that I gotta beef up. You know, like I, I gotta be tough. Like I, I sometimes have troubles with going outside. Uh, it's like scary for me. But I have to be tough. I have to be, if I want Leica to go out, I gotta do it too. So I need to act tough. 
who try to steal rings from women. Only women, though. Apparently men don't ever wear rings. Alright. Scrolling up to the top of my name list here. Wait. How did I manage to break this? Uh, there we go. Oh no, okay, somehow I made a mistake, but we're just gonna go through here. Uh, this is going to be... Snicky. No, not JJ. <laughs> I like that name, it's very good. So not totally sure what type that was. Are there different Pokemon over in this patch? I'm wondering. No, this is Mr. Mime. Hey, Zucker. I'm actually happy playing this game again. I legitimately missed it while I was gone. Oh yeah, I also thought that seeing my reflection in here was the coolest thing. Yeah, I was... <sighs> I, so I was exercising, I was weightlifting for a while, um, I like weightlifting a lot, actually, I highly recommend it, um, I especially recommend it if you're having trouble losing weight or you're on medication that makes it difficult to lose weight, uh, because weightlifting just kind of takes that weight and puts it somewhere else. And, and use free weights. Free weights are, are pretty are really good because um, they work you out more. So the thing is, like you're less likely to hurt yourself on one of those machines, but you're also not getting as good of a workout. Um, free weights are better, and a lot of them are like really. There's a lot of really simple stuff. Uh, check with your YMC. My advice also is to check with your YMCA. Um, I did a thing with the YMCA where I paid. It was a lot cheaper than actually getting a getting somebody, and I got in. It was an eight week eight week like fitness class where I had a personal trainer. Um, and so it was really, really nice. So, I mean, it, it was less than I expected it to be. And, um, you know, I had somebody who met with me for eight weeks in a row. I ended up, you know, paying to continue with him and I just meet with him once a week. But it was really, 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 really helpful. Oh God, tell me about it, Stones. Yeah, I used to I used to get in my gym clothes. I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go and I'd walk in the door and be like, I'm too embarrassed and I'd turn around and leave. And go home. <laughs> so that's that, that's why I found the um, found having a trainer to be helpful, just because you don't feel quite as dumb. But I know, like, there's a lot of medications that make people keep weight. You know, like antidepressants for one, and weightlifting is just it really makes a difference. I posted a picture actually. I had I hadn't even like lost a pound yet, and I looked like a hundred times better. Basically, you just turn the weight into muscle. Um, thank you. But I really need, yeah, that's me and Alex's goal. We have a pretty nice gym at our apartment. We're like, so we literally have no excuse. I just, I really hate working out in front of people. I mean, to be honest, it's always, I'm just, I always feel super awkward. Even if I know what I'm doing, I'm like, they're judging me. I don't think this will be a problem here, but it it it, it is lit. It is actually true uh, that some guys have a problem with women weightlifting, and I and it it sounds like I have a complex, but I really don't. Like so, I so the place I went to um, in California actually got it got torn down because they built a new location, but they had weightlifting inside in one room, which I avoided because it was nothing but old dudes who would just stare at my butt. Um, like, there were mirrors all around. I could see them doing it. So I'd go up to the rooftop, and usually I'd grab the weights that I needed, and I would go outside. It had, like, a big tent, and I'd take it outside because it's California. It's nice all the time. Plus, I'd rather lift weights while looking out the mountains. Like, that's during sunset. Like, that's cool as hell. 
Um, and and so you know, so I, I grab my weights, and I, well, you know, I usually would use one. I used it was like a thirty-five pound I was using for goblet squats, and they have four. They always have four. So I took one. So there were three left. And this guy walks out, and he's like, "I need that weight next." You done with it almost? I'm like, um, I'm on my first rep. He's like, I need it. And I'm like, there are three in there. He's like, no, there's not. You took the only one. I'm like, no, there's two sets. And he's like, no, I need that one. <laughs> so I get, you know, so I was like, eh. So I just handed it to him and I walked inside and grabbed another one and went back out. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, apparently it was just a problem that I was weightlifting. And I really, I was hoping not to see that at the YMCA, but unfortunately. I mean, there's jerks everywhere, but a woman never did that to me. Oh god, so purple. But you know what? If you, if you go to the gym, you are not gonna look like those bodybuilders. Like, you just can't. You're not going to. Hey, Alive. Yeah, I don't know. I think he just had a problem with it. Uh, but however, the good thing is that, uh, so my personal trainer was deaf, um, and I signed. So it was great. So I got to sign and work out at the same time. It was awesome. The two of us had a blast, and I, I was his only, I was his only person who knew how to sign. So it was, like, super exciting for him. He said he just loved meeting with me, and, uh, there was a lot of regulars who had seen me meeting with him, and they all thought that I was deaf. So they left me alone. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, I do. Yeah, they, there's always somebody. There's always one. There's got to be one dude, bro, every time. And I mean, luckily it was kind. Of, it was like a one-off. I mostly just got like weird looks or something, but. Yeah, it was great, because, man, the best way to get men to leave you alone is to pretend that you're deaf. Um, God, men just... <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's like jerky boys at the club. Ooh, they're not interested. <laughs> Highly recommended. I mean, unless you... Uh, the worry is that they might actually know side, but since I knew it, you know, whatever. Grossness, you and judgmental people. Yeah, I never ended up with I never went to the locker room. I usually changed and like brought my stuff with me. Oh man, I just want this battle to finish here. <sighs> yeah, it's a new life hack. It's really good. be our teacher. I'm not a good teacher though. I always I always recommend learning from somebody who is deaf if you can. Um, at a lot of universities, professors are deaf. Uh, a lot of communities have, um, a, a lot of communities actually have like ASL basic classes, like brand, like because baby sign language is so hip now. Um, which is depressing because they're like, ooh, hearing child, you should hear a hearing child, you should learn sign language. And then with deaf babies, they're like, don't teach him sign, it'll ruin him. Sorry, it's a, it's a issue. It's, but that's a point of anger in the deaf community, but uh, yeah, I just, it's it's weird. It's really, it's, it's funny. So like one time, so I was taking, I was. I, I, so I was taking a class, um, I was paying for some extra tutoring, kind of, with this large group. Yeah, explain that logic. Oh, trust me, I, I don't get it. It's, it's, it's super, super common. People will be like, okay, your deaf baby needs to rely on the hearing aids. They can't, never, don't teach them sign, it'll confuse them. Meanwhile, they're like, baby sign language! And you think, I, like, it's, it's widespread, um very widespread. It's it's so sad. It just makes me sad. Plus a lot of like baby sign language, like they just make it up. They're not even using ASL. It's just yeah, it's just sad. Oh, <gasps> thank the lord. Okay. I wonder what Cookie will evolve into. I wish the evolutions were also randomized. 
so blue and angry. I suppose. It's true, it would. All right, well, let's take a look at uh, Cookie's stats now. Still ice, still got damp. Here's what his stats are looking like. I'm hoping they were up a lot higher. But, oh yeah, as I was saying, so anyway, I was taking this extra class. Um, I remember that class, it was like a guy who did his training stuff. And, um, he, uh, and so, so anyway, so the day before, I, because I, I lived in Minnesota, so I went to the Mall of America with my friend. And, you know, we're walking down this one area, and, you know, there's people, you know, try this product, come in my store, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, you can't even walk down this one hallway without just being accosted by people. I went there the next day with my signing class, and just... Nobody spoke to us. Everybody like walked away. They like turned. They just like they did not even make eye contact with you. It was kind of sad. A blue tongue lizard in disguise. Yeah, it was very sad. I was like, oh yeah, I talked to you. Starfberry. I don't know why that name is funny to me, but it is. Let me take a look here. If you don't pay attention, you could get hurt. Well, you're gonna get hurt right now. Yeah, my nightbot's angry. Oh, uh, so my friend Joshy D, he he and his brother stream Final Fantasy. They've been playing through all the Final Fantasies. They're on nine now, but when they were on seven, uh, Joshy D found out about my hatred of, of, of Yuffie. I dislike her strongly. <laughs> so, Sid is my favorite character. So just to piss me off, he would he would use he use Cloud. Sid and Yuffie for the whole game and it would like post Sid x Yuffie fan art and I'm like no stop it no <laughs> and I was I hated it right and so there's a part where you have to pull levers and 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 like you have to decide which lever to pull it's it's part of one of the like one of the beginning things with her and so if you go to if you go to joshy d's it's joshy underscore d's stream and do exclamation point yuffie um his says he says like don't use either lever just hug her and so i instead did uh tear them both out and beat her to death <laughs> it's sort of like a friendship necklace um except it's a command and it's about our hatred <laughs> about my hatred and his love uh to upset me <laughs> That's the story behind that one. Um, right? Right, Metal? Mm -hmm. Although although we have agreed with all the Final Fantasy characters, we age them up to like around age 25 so we feel less creepy. That's been the ongoing rule. It's 16? What? You mean 25? <laughs> And somebody's like, don't do that in real life. <laughs> yeah, when I was when I was younger, like Sid was like my one of my first like super favorite video game characters. I don't know why I liked him so much, I just did. I had a huge huge video game crush on him. He was my type, apparently. Whatever <laughs> whatever his type is, that was mine. Yeah, everybody says I should play Kingdom Hearts. But like, the characters in Kingdom Hearts aren't the same as how they are in Final Fantasy. Like, there's similarities, yeah, but like, they're not the same at all, so I think I'd just be confused. Look, I think it's a fine rule. So anytime, like, occasionally they like quote their age or something, we're like, what's that? Oh, a typo. Must be a typo in translation. She's 25. Oh my god, why is this just not working out for me? Oh, double team. That's why. I'm not paying attention. I'm thinking about sweet, sweet today. So anyway, the, the escalation of this fight, so Joshy D writes music and stuff. 
So I was talking about my love for Sid, and you know what he did? You know what he, he, he sampled it from my stream. He took a chunk of it and he edited it to make it sound like I was talking about how much I loved Yuffie and how I wanted Alex to dress up as Yuffie because it would be really sexy. So it was fake news. Um, fake news. <laughs> I was a little, uh, and, and so anyway, so th that was, that was the ultimate, that was the ultimate, and so then I retaliated by later on, <laughs> this is, there's a long story with this, but later on during an art stream I was doing Final Fantasy characters, and so I found some character, I found like an old character that was like super hideous, and I told everybody it, w it was Yuffie. <laughs> <laughs> and I drew it, and I drew it like with Yuffie's stuff and started telling people, started like making up a whole backstory. I'm like, yeah, you know what happens when she falls in the Mako reactor. And actually, I have it in a, I, get, I need to mail it to him. I was going to give it to him as a gift. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, poor Magic Art. Magic Art's got a couple moves. They don't do much. No, I'm not. No, no, no. That's never happening, because Yuffie is terrible. She's a bad woman. She is even worse than Stephen George. Yeah, that was a little upsetting. Um, I think I, I probably still have the stream where he's like, what is this? Seawater, you just ate her up. Doesn't matter. They're 25. <laughs> 16 year olds shouldn't be even out but having adventures anyway. Whew. Goodness gracious, this has been a lot of battling. Oh, I'm using the wrong button here. Nah, I don't know, that, that's a lot of effort, though, you know? Like, that seems like a lot of work. She's actually 600. <laughs> All right, Josh Jepson, let's fly. <laughs> All right, I'm actually gonna fly back to Fortree City. And I think I might end the stream here for the night. I'm sorry, I got started a little bit late, but I want that food that's in the fridge. Isn't that too who logic? Just, she's actually 800. <laughs> See, that's, that's weird, but you know, I don't know. Final Fantasy characters, they should all be, like, I don't know. Now that I'm older, I'm like, the minimum for an adventure should be at least 25. Because <laughs> to me, like, 16 is like, oh, it's a baby, and like, 20 is like, oh, you baby. <laughs> Let's see, is there anybody... Oh man, we're trying to see if there's anybody streaming right now. I should save here too. Nah. Nobody who I really know is streaming. Oh hey DJ, sorry, fortunately I'm just leaving. I appreciate you tuning in though. I want to play this game more often, because I always have fun whenever I play it. Did I talk to everybody in here? Oh yeah. Alright. Unfortunately, there's nobody good I can I can raid. I, sometime, if we can raid Josh Jepson, we're just gonna be like, hashtag ride on Josh Jepson. <laughs> I did not fight any Smirgal, no. So, uh, my next stream, let me just go to my end slate, where I actually have to take part of it off here. Um, that's not good anymore. My next stream is going to be tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Uh, my central time is all, uh, oops. I, I have a CST one. I guess I uploaded the wrong image, but it's CST. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so that makes I'm gonna be painting, as per usual. Um, if you've never seen my painting before, uh, this was one from last night. It was a little weird, but I just paint weird things, because why not? I'm working my th way through painting all the Pokemon, if you've never been a part of that before. Oh god, don't VR chat. Oh my god, Metal, just look it up on YouTube. <laughs> I've seen some of it. Oh, because Dunky did a cool video. I love Dunky. I really do. I'm not going to lie. Um, all right. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys back tomorrow at 7. Um, 
yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm happy to get back into this game. I actually honestly super missed it over break. Um, I want to keep going, catch some more Pokemon, battle some more people, start forming. I need to start forming like a solid team. I don't really have one. I don't know. I'll get there. But anyway, see you guys later.